welcome back. So for this week's video, I thought it'd be really fun to basically vlog every single day and show you guys what I'm wearing. I've got like various occasions this week, some work stuff, social stuff, it's summer, I'm trying to make the most of it and wear cute outfits every single day. So today is Monday and today I'm actually going to shoot a few outfits for Instagram. Um, I'm thinking I'm just gonna like be a bit basic and go around Notting Hill just because it's the school holidays and everywhere in London is literally just like jam packed right now. So I'm just sorting out all my outfits now, getting ready to pack a case. Also, how cute is this little top? I actually just got sent this from Pretty Lavish and it's their collaboration with Chloe Lloyd. Um, and they sent me this cute little like sleeveless knit. It's so, so soft. Um, so yeah, just getting my outfits together. And I just had a delivery from Farfetch, which I'm so, so happy that it came today because it means I can shoot the pieces. Um, so I thought we could unbox it together. Okay, here are my boxes. I literally get so excited when my Farfetch order arrives. Um, it's like Christmas and I love how they're all shipped from independent boutiques all around the world. So although I'm shopping like big name brands, um, Farfetch also supports small businesses as well. So this one came from France, this one from the Netherlands and this one from Italy. I also just love shopping on Farfetch because they have like by far the biggest selection of luxury I think than anywhere else um, and I'm always like constantly stalking the new in section of my favourite brands and as always I do have an exclusive discount code for you guys to use which I'll put on the screen now there are some exclusions on brands but you can use it for the things I show in today's video and basically all of my favourite brands like Zimmerman, Chloe, Tory Burch so let's open up my boxes um, the first thing I got was a pair of sunglasses from d and I just feel like a girl can never have too many pairs of sunglasses and I am literally obsessed with these. I basically wanted some that were like a really exaggerated glam cat eye but that didn't have those little like knobbly bits that sit on your nose because they get really tangled in my hair and especially with the fringe um, it's like a disaster so I wanted some that I could really easily just like push up on my hair like that and they would look really really cute and these are literally perfect. They're so over the top and like dramatic but they're also wearable i also really like the branding because it's like there but it's not over the top or tacky and they're just very classic and glamorous i'm obsessed with these i feel like these were a really good choice and they're tortoiseshell um so they'll just go really nicely with like my whole wardrobe that was a really really good first purchase like i'm honestly thrilled with these next i of course had to pick out something from zimmerman i haven't actually got anything new from zimmerman like this summer i had a couple of things um in spring my two um dresses which were on the rail there oh my god you guys are going to die look how cute they are i actually cannot deal um you guys know how much i just live in my zimmerman shorts in summer my plain white ones i mean i've literally worn them to death and when i saw these with the pink belt and all of this stunning stunning floral detail um it's on the back as well like on the belt um i just absolutely fell in love also just look at this detail on the side of the shorts with the little buttons and like the scalloped loops i'll obviously try everything on for you um at some point in the video i'm definitely gonna wear those this week and then finally i actually picked out a couple of pieces from sandro so it's sandro or sandro i say sandro so the first thing i got is this really gorgeous play suit i kind of wish that i'd got this um in time for the cruise because i feel like it's very very nautical it's quite boaty and i guess i just wanted something really nice and casual to wear in summer that would still look very very chic and a little bit unique as well um and i just really love it it kind of gives me like 1940s 1950s swimsuit vibes and then the last thing i got um, was another play suit from sandro and this is kind of less summery i'd say it's more um late summer early autumn vibes and spring but i really really loved it it's this cream boucle um play suit and the reason i got this is because do you guys remember my bright pink play suit that's from sister jane that always like reminds me of the gucci play suit well i absolutely love that but i hardly ever wear it because it's bright pink it's like fuchsia pink which is not really a color that i love but i really love the play suit so i keep it and i do wear it occasionally um to events but i felt like i would actually wear this a lot day to day um it's just so beautiful it's really classic it's really simple but i feel like the fit will be very chic so yeah i really love this i'm glad that it's as nice in real life 
um, as it looked online because I feel like again this will be something that's just such a staple in my wardrobe and I'm really about like now investing in more expensive higher quality like more long-term pieces um, and just having a load of clothes coming in and out of the wardrobe every season um, I'm trying to make like really good decisions with my clothes and I feel like this is one so that's everything that I got from Farfetch so I'm going to just finish packing for um, my shoot definitely going to take a couple of these pieces probably this um, and the pink Zimmerman shorts everything will be linked down below along with the farfetch code um, as well as everything else I wear in today's video so I like to lay all my outfits out on the floor um, before I pack my suitcase up so I can just get a really good visual of the outfits that I'm shooting so today I'm going to do the cocoa dress with the terry boots and the Chloe Drew bag um, I'm also going to do the Karen Millen two-piece and just really style it up probably with the boots as well in a really fun retro way with like a little necktie and this cute little hat box handbag i'm gonna do the sandro play suit with the gucci shoes and my little vintage bag again hello a little bit of a vintage vibe and then for a really fun cute summery look i'm gonna do the zimmerman shorts with a little white top um and just like pink accessories not sure exactly what she used to use um maybe the strappy the pink strappy sandals right i'm all ready to go and shoot um i decided to pop on the sandro play suit which i'll show you in a sec um with the boots just because the boots um would be quite hard to pack into my little suitcase which is full of my extra outfits to shoot in today um and a nice big tote bag because when you're doing like street style it's just kind of like having an extra pair of hands just having a big bag to like throw stuff in um so yeah all ready to go Hello again everyone, good morning, it is Tuesday today and I have quite a big day ahead and as you can see I am dressed for it. I'm wearing the Sandro play suit again and after wearing it yesterday I do actually feel like it's a little bit too big for me. Um, so I'm probably going to get this taken in slightly because I don't think they actually had my size. I'd taken the tag out anyway in excitement so <laughs> it's not like I could return it anyway um, but I just love this play suit so much. It's so chic, it really gives me like Gucci vibes but just a lot more I think classier. I think a lot of the Gucci and um, like ready to wear stuff is quite out there, it's quite loud um, and not particularly wearable whereas this is just extremely wearable and so so classic um and very very comfortable as well i feel like it's just such a timeless piece so so happy i got it and i think it's definitely worth me um getting this taken in a little bit so it fits absolutely perfectly um but today is an exciting day because i'm actually going to try on the first samples for the flossy autumn winter collection which is I'm literally so excited and it's really nice. I'm kind of able to share it with you this time. Last time it was a huge, huge secret and I didn't even want to hint. Whereas, although I still want to keep the autumn winter um, collection designs a secret, I can still like talk to you guys about it and it's not this huge secret. So that's where I'm off to today. I'm actually also trying on my summer samples for next year. It's a long story, but basically we ended up launching Flossy late and I was hoping to have a summer collection this year. But we got pushed back and delayed, um, which is kind of inevitable when you're like starting something new. Um, so we saved the summer collection until next year. Um, so I'm trying those on today as well. So it's a big meaty meeting. Today I'll be there for a few hours um, trying on the samples, giving notes, um, making sure that the fit's good, etc, etc. So this is my... I'm a fashion designer entrepreneur outfit, which I think is gorgeous. I'm also wearing my D&G Sisley bag, which I think goes really nicely with the look and the neutral tones and my Gucci loafers. Are they loafers? No, they're sling bags. They're like loafer sling bags. I actually got these for the flossy shoot. I really wanted them before, but I just couldn't justify it to myself. But I thought, you know what, if I'm getting them for a shoot, 
it's different. So I got them on the shoot, everyone loved them, and yeah, I got to keep them afterwards. <laughs> Just thought I'd do a little shoe close up for you guys, um, so you can see what they look like. I'm totally aware that I like such Marmite shoes. People either love them or hate them, but I personally love them. I think you can't deny they make a statement. They're so, so fun and cool and different. Um, they're not like hard or uncomfortable to walk in, but they are awkward to walk in, and they're very loud. Like, people will hear you coming when you wear these shoes, but I personally don't mind because, yeah, I just think they're adorable. So guys, wish me luck. Sample day is a big day. I will try and get some sneaky little clips for you um, without giving too much away, um, but I will see you guys later. And here is my I'm a fashion designer brand owner outfit of the day. <laughs> these are like nice, well, these two are nice chocolatey brown. Yeah. Um, I think these uh, yeah, are nice they, I think that one's nice. Uh, yeah, I think this one, because that's almost got like a, do you think that's got a touch of a red, red to it? Yeah. yeah, I think this that's one. So oh, really? Oh, I feel like this. I think so, do you? I quite like this one too. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm drawn to that. I do, I quite like this, but I feel like it, I do actually like that. So that one is like. I mean, that is quite fun. So nice. That's really Yeah, that's nice. That is how I, Gold. that's how I saw it, to be honest. Um, this, the trim would be a different colour. Are you sure we didn't do 622? We did pick this one, but I actually did look at this in a different light and thought it was too beige. Yeah, so I, I, I feel like we definitely picked this one. Yeah. Maybe that was my mistake <laughs> then. Okay, yeah, yeah. let's pick okay. that dark one. So oh, this almost. is heavier and like more textured. This one's probably my new favourite. Has it? This I one. Like that. Um, this one. <laughs> I mean, that's I think that's gorge. gorgeous. I think that's bad. So I feel like that would be. And if, yeah, and it's a little That's a good upgrade. And then tie it in. What about this one then? This is another one we kind of like. But yeah, the weight that it is like potentially yeah. is an issue unless it can be lined into lines. Oh my gosh, guys. The sample meeting was so, so good. I'm honestly thrilled. And I just wish that I could share with you, like, the designs for the upcoming collections like I just feel like you're gonna love them so much um, and I did film a little bit but I obviously want to keep the um, collections a secret from me so they're a surprise um, but yeah it was amazing and I actually have to start working on my mood board for my spring collection this week so I'm gonna try and do that today for a couple of hours this afternoon um, but yeah it was very very good and I felt very um, very good and professional in my play suit and this evening I'm actually going for dinner with Nicoletta who is the founder of Santini who of course modelled for me on my flossy shoot and Lara from Lara Heems Jewellery who um, is the fabulous lady that makes all of those incredible um, earrings that I love and the necklaces her jewellery is just amazing so we're going for dinner tonight which I'm super excited about and I just feel like I have to wear my cocoa dress like after today like I just I'm just so proud of flossy and everything it's achieved in the very very short time that it's been alive um and I just want to celebrate that and wear my dress and I was thinking um of wearing it with this pink blouse now I've layered a lot of stuff under the cocoa but I've not layered pink under it yet and it might be too much it might not work but I kind of feel like it will and this blouse from Lily Silk is so beautiful it's so silky and look at these buttons they're so pretty and they just really match the cocoa, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna give this a little steam, um, work on my mood board for a couple of hours and then I shall show you the finished look. Oh my gosh, guys, how, just how, have I never paired the cocoa with pink before? <laughs> I absolutely love how it looks. I think it just looks perfect. I was worried about there being too much pink and it just being so OTT girly, but I just don't even care. Like, I think it looks amazing. The color complements the dress so, so well. I love this Lily Silk blouse. Like, look at the buttons and the pussy bow. It just works so well. And I even just thought, why not put the Chanel bag with it and just go even more over the top with the pink because all the colors just blend so beautifully together. And then for my shoes, 
I'm wearing the little Gucci um, slingbacks. I was gonna go with the boots, but I actually thought I'd be too warm. Um, and also, I just think it kind of looks a bit more elegant like this with these shoes and a bit more fun. You get lots of leg. Um, but yeah, I feel like temperature wise, it will be good because we're not meeting till eight. Um, so I probably won't be coming home until like 11. So temperature wise, I feel like this will be good for the evening. And if not, if I get too hot, like in the restaurant, I'll just whip this blouse off and put it in my bag. It's silk, it goes into like nothing. Um, and then I can just wear the dress sleeveless. But yeah, I'm so excited. I'm very proud of this dress. Look how cute it is. Um, so I'm really excited to take it out tonight um, and celebrate Flossie. And just for the finishing touch, I'm going to wear my diamonds that JJ bought me for Christmas. Add a little bit of sparkle. <gasps> so, so pretty. Sparkly. Okay, let's go. Obviously with twins, yeah. there's two sides. And I really tried to think about like what in the other two sides are. Because I'm, I'm pretty consistent. Good morning guys, oh my gosh, this is a far too early in the morning compared to how late I went to bed, but we had such a nice time last night, I had the loveliest time, we literally were the last people in Harry's bar, we stayed there until they put the lights on, um, and we could have just stayed there literally all night chatting, and it was amazing just to have some girly time, I had the most delicious bolognese I've ever had, like I would never order bolognese in a restaurant, like I don't really like bolognese, but um, Nicola said you should try it, it's really good, so I did, and now I feel like I will never order anything else, it was so, so yummy. So anyway, I'm up bright and early, I'm very tired, um, but I have a gym session this morning, a PT session, I go at least once a week and I try to never miss it, I try to go to the gym more than once a week, but at the very least I always keep this PT session, so I will show you my gym outfit. So this is my gym outfit. I feel like people are always surprised to see that I wear dark bottoms to the gym. But I just, um, I don't know, I don't like to, I like to blend in at the gym. I feel like it's the one environment in my life where I'm like, I don't want to stick out. I'd rather just blend in. And I feel like if I walked in in my pink matching set, I would just feel uncomfortable in that environment. But yeah, I love these bottoms. They're so nice. They're actually dark brown. They're from Adenova um, and they're very, flattering and comfortable and I just really like the colour, the dark brown, it's a little bit more me than black. Um, and then this top I actually just got from this brand called um, Girlfriend Collective and I actually picked out a few tops in this colour because they just, they just have such a lovely like elegant cut. Um, they don't look like a typical kind of sports bra top that you like typically wear to the gym. They look a little bit more chic, I think. And I really love the neutral, like off white colour. They're super soft and comfortable. They're not like very supportive. So I think if you need like more support um, around your bust, then these probably wouldn't be great. But I don't really need a lot. So they're really good for me. Um, and yeah, for my trainers, if you guys can be able to see, I've got my little pink Nike trainers that JJ got me for Christmas. Um, ages ago. I've had these ages and I never really wear them. And I've just started wearing them because my other ones are looking a little bit tatty. Um, but yeah, that's my gym look. Normally I would like wear a little pullover or jumper or something, like a sweater, to go to the gym in, but it's really, really warm today, so I think I'm just going to go like this. Um, these are the shoes. I feel like you didn't see them very well. They're quite chunky <laughs> for me, um, but they're pink and they're cute. Like I feel like there is not many actually cute pink trainers out there. Um, they're good for the gym, so yeah, I really like these. They're comfortable and pretty. Hello again, guys. So I spent the rest of the day um, just working from home in my gym wear, but I'm dressed up again now because JJ and I are going out this evening to see Jersey Boys. I'm so, so excited. I saw Jersey Boys like two months ago for the first time with my dad and loved it and was like, JJ needs to see this. Um, so that's what we're doing tonight and I can't wait. So I'm kind of like deciding between outfits. I feel like I want to go for a little bit of a fun 60s vibe as that's obviously when Jersey Boys is set. Um, so I've either got my caramel and two piece, both by the way I will wear with my new white boots. If you haven't seen them, well you will have seen them if you saw my video last week but if not you'll see them today. They are literally oh, the best boots in the world. So this is option one, the little two piece but I feel like I might be a bit cold in this tonight and I don't really want to go with the jacket. Um, so that's an option. And then my other option is my Zimmerman dress. 
that I, ha I don't wear this enough and I absolutely love it. So I feel like this could be so cute with the boots as well. So I'll try both on. Um, it's too late for you to help me decide, but at least you can see how they both look on. Also, just to give you guys your weekly dose of Cinderella, Cinderella Pavlova. Mm, she is my most beautiful baby. Okay, here is option one, the Karen Millen two-piece. I honestly think it looks incredible with the boots. I'm just worried I might be a bit cold like this evening. I really don't want to take a jacket with me today. So, oh, I don't know. I really, really in my mind like wanted to wear this tonight. I just love it with the boots, but I don't know. I might be a bit cold. Um, oh my God. So cute though. I'm literally obsessed with it. And then option two, the Zimmerman dress, which is equally as adorable. And I feel like I might just feel a bit more comfortable in this today. It still looks really adorable with the boots, um, but it's more like covered up at the back around the middle and the fabric's a bit thicker as well. So I feel like tonight I might just be a bit better in this dress. Um, and I never wear it either. Like this dress deserves way more love than it gets. So yeah, I think I'm gonna wear this. <laughs> today I have been working from home today just in my cute little love shack fancy outfit um I'll show you properly in the mirror Jersey Boys last night was so so good JJ absolutely loved it as I really hoped he would um and yeah I'm actually going out again tonight I'm such like a girl about town this week um I just made loads of lovely plans because I want to make the most of summer so I'm actually meeting Josie and Em tonight we are going to the Ladre pop-up bar which is called La Bar um not Lay Bar as we found in Palm Beach um, and then afterwards we're going to a really beautiful restaurant in Mayfair called 34 Mayfair so let's go and pick an outfit for this evening I feel like the Zimmerman shorts are a must for this evening I really wanted to wear them this week um, I think with like a little cute top some little pink strappy heels um, I think that will be perfect I'm just going to give them a little steam with my um, T-Fowl steamer it's so so good the creases literally just like fall out Option one is this top, which goes so perfectly. Like, I think they literally look like they were a set already. Um, it's just so the right vibe. Oh my God, look how cute. They kind of like come up and down a little bit like their petals. So, so beautiful. I absolutely love these shorts. This top goes really well, but let's try the other one on. And here is top option, or as JJ would say, toption two, which I actually think I prefer for this evening. I think I'm going to go for it because I think it translates a little bit more into evening and we are going for dinner. So I think this is a little bit more appropriate. I'll be nice and warm, um, but also like cool enough at the same time. I also just like paired my little Chanel bag with this outfit and I never wear this bag because the pink is just too bright, but actually it goes really nicely with the um, pink in the shorts. So I'm really happy to get some use out of this bag. I feel like this is such a cute little look. And then shoes, I'm kind of torn in between going for some pink strappy sandals or my white crochet Tory Burch slingbacks. I kind of like the strappy vibe, but I feel like the pink is just a little bit off. It's not the same pink, but then I'm like, does it matter? I decided I'm just going with pink, who cares? Hello! Rose blood <gasps> exclusive to Lottery. Oh my god, it's absolutely delicious because I have already tested it before Freddie's arrival. I'm also <laughs> doing a lovely professional haul for her. It tastes, it's not watery, it's not Ooh. too dark. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good morning guys, another day, another outfit. I also feel like I should mention that I think in a normal week, I would rewear outfits more, but you know, this video has been nice because it's encouraged me to not be boring and keep on like wearing the same thing every day. Not that rewearing things 
is boring but I actually tend to like when I've got a good outfit and it works I'll wear it like every day um just because it's easy to throw on even though I have a wardrobe full of lovely clothes so um I was actually planning on having another day like working from home today which I kind of need I need to catch up on emails go through the photos and um, that we took on Monday that's like a really time consuming task um, but I've actually been called in um for another flossy meeting today just to run over some fabrics because at the sample meeting on Tuesday um the samples were amazing but there was one piece that I was really not happy with the fabric and I was like we need to totally like change the idea here on fabrics um so I'm going in today for a fabric meeting there's going to be loads for me to choose from um which will be great um then hopefully we can get everything signed off um and into production as soon as possible so my outfit for today I actually really like I feel like it looks very professional but it's still like summery and chic and it's all from and other stories like the top and shorts the top is so cute it's just a little um cropped blouse with like an asymmetric um button down and I just feel like this is such a wardrobe staple like you can just wear this with so many different bottoms it's not going to go out of style i have um done a little bit of a sleek pony today because my hair really needs a wash i'm not gonna lie <laughs> and then the shorts i am so obsessed with i just got these um last week or the week before from and other stories they're so so pretty can you guys see just what a lovely shape they are they've got such a gorgeous tailored look and they're this really beautiful like um champagne satin but they're not like super shiny satin they don't look cheap they look very very expensive and they fit really beautifully um and then i've just got my dng crochet bag which i just think is such oh it's such a beauty and for shoes my shoes are also from and other stories they're my little um strappy sandals i'm not 100 percent sure if they make these anymore i feel like they bring them in and out of season um but they're definitely one of and other stories like classic shoes so yeah i'm really loving this outfit i feel like it's a very cool look for me you know i kind of feel like one of those cool understated minimalist and other stories girls in london which let's be honest, is not exactly what I am, but I love it nonetheless. Um, so, fingers crossed we find the perfect fabric today. The dress that this fabric is for, <sighs> you guys are going to love so much. So, I just wanted to make sure that it was absolutely perfect. So, fingers crossed we find it, and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Spoiler alert, guys, we found the fabric. Well, actually, we found two, and it was very, very hard to pick between the two. So, I'm going to mull it over over the weekend, make my decision by Monday. Um... I might just give you a little flash, the quickest flash of both. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. I've just been um, to get my nails done with Coco. Um, she's going on holiday with my parents um, in a couple of days. I'm staying behind to look after the cats. <laughs> but we just went to get our nails done. And is there a better feeling, honestly, than getting fresh a fresh manicure i went for french of course i always alternate like two weeks french two weeks um just like a nice pale pink but they look super pretty and my nails have actually grown as well i'm quite like i'm quite proud of myself so my outfit of the day was first of all my new tng sunglasses which i love also this sweater vest again i actually love this so much it's so soft and like thin um but i feel like it's such a vibe it looks so so chic especially with the necklace um and then i decided to pair it today with this skirt which i've actually come to the conclusion that this is a really really awful skirt and it's actually zimmerman and i never wear it and honestly everything else i have from zimmerman like the fit is always so good but this is just really bad can you guys see how like it makes me look like super bulky like i have loads of bulging bulging around this area and it's because of the way the pockets are designed the fabric literally sticks out and also when you sit down the way that it creases it creases here and here so this section makes you look like you have a big stomach sticking out when you actually don't so it's actually a really badly designed skirt um and i and I'm just being honest because you guys know Zimmerman is my favourite brand and I love everything else that I have. But this skirt is just not a hit. And then my bag is my Coach Tabby in the brown, which I think is a gorgeous bag. And it just goes nicely like this sweater vibe. It's definitely a nice look. So, yes, lovely day. New nails. I'm going to um, probably just slip on some different bottoms to tidy and clean up um, for the rest of the day and then I'm going to my parents to see them and Coco this evening for dinner um, before they go on holiday. What's your outfit of the day, Cinderella? Your white fur coat again? Oh, even in summer you are dedicated to your glamour. How do you keep it looking so beautiful? 
to get it dry cleaned. Good morning everyone, it is Sunday and the final day of this vlog. I have actually been to a gym class this morning. Before anyone says I'm disgusting for wearing the same top, I do usually wear my gym kit twice before I wash it because to be honest, unless I'm doing cardio, which I don't do because I hate it, I actually don't sweat at the gym, like it's air conned. I take big gaps in between <laughs> sets and exercises. And if I'm doing like Pilates class or something, like I just don't sweat. So I will wash this um, now, but just don't call me gross, okay? It's economical. No, it's saving water and energy. Anyway, today is another beautiful day and JJ and I are actually gonna go and have a lovely picnic today. I'm um, in probably Hyde Park or Regent's Park and just like take a stroll around London in the summer because I don't actually do that very often anymore and I always feel like I just miss out on that lovely like London summer feeling because I'm always like on the go or working. So we're just gonna have a really lovely chill day today and then we're actually gonna meet our friends I think that's probably him ringing me now. Sorry, so um, yes, we're also meeting our friends later on in the day for drinks, al fresco, somewhere lovely, um, in the late afternoon, early evening. So it should be a really nice day and I'm determined, guys, to wear something old in my wardrobe today. I feel like I've worn a lot of new pieces this week, but there's so many gorgeous things sat in my wardrobe not receiving love. So I want to choose one of those outfits today. Look at my lovely dressing room. There's a very specific time of um, the morning when the dressing room actually looks pretty um, because the light's coming in. Doesn't it look gorgeous? Oh my god, if anyone's wondering what that is, that is not a, um, I feel like it looks like a bong. Um, <laughs> it's JJ's vocal steamer and I don't know why it's there. Um, but yeah, isn't it so pretty in here? It's so nice to come in here in the morning and choose an outfit from my wardrobe um, and choose a handbag. And inside my wardrobe, um, this is my summer wardrobe. I feel like it's so, so full and I really need to do a clear out, like maybe before next summer. And I know I say that all the time, but there are just definitely things that in this wardrobe that I know I haven't worn this summer. And I was like, I'll give them another chance and see if I wear them this summer and I haven't. So I feel like I should just get rid of them. And there's quite a few of those things. So um, yeah, this is all my summer clothes. And also look at all my lovely dresses on this side as well. So many beautiful options. I just, I just love all my clothes. I really do. And I feel sad that I haven't got like enough chance to wear all of these. Like look at the beauty, my Zimmerman, another Zimmerman. This is my doily dress. These two forever new dresses um free people please ignore that that needs a dry clean <laughs> from earlier um this zimmerman oh my god this will be perfect for today my leo lynn um this zimmerman my new free people play suit that i got in new york that i haven't had a chance to wear yet really um oh my gosh and this santini this is more um for winter well for like autumn winter because it's super thick but look at the cold sparkle in the sun oh my god it's so stunning okay guys i think i'm going to wear this zimmerman dress the one with the bow shoulders i don't actually wear this enough because i feel like it's just quite dressy so it doesn't get like that much wear but actually i'm just thinking i've come to the conclusion this very morning that if you're feeling like self-conscious about being out and about and looking overdressed just think, nobody knows where you're going and nobody knows where you've been. So really, it's none of their business and they can just stand back and admire. So for my shoes, I've popped on my little Charles and Keith um, sandals and they're pink and brown and I feel like they don't look great with the dress, but they will look good once I've got an accessory and I've got a choice of two bags that both I think go perfectly with the shoes. First option, my pink Prada tote, which is honestly like the exact same pink as the shoes. So I feel like it just works really well. It just ties the whole thing together. So that looks super cute. And also like the bag goes with the vibe of the dress. It's super summery and cute. And then my second option is my brown coach tabby bag, which again, goes perfectly with the shoes and like ties the whole thing together. It's a little bit more convenient to wear like all day in London. I actually think it looks a little bit like it makes the dress more wearable and casual. Whereas the pink Prada tote is like going super OTT, which I love. I just feel like for today, this would actually be a cuter option and it just makes the dress look a bit more daytime and less like an occasion dress. So yeah, I think this is what I'm gonna go for today. I'm gonna say my goodbye to you guys now and enjoy my Sunday. And I hope you have had a lovely weekend too as you'll be watching this on Monday evening. Um, and I really hope you enjoyed this format of video. I was thinking that I could do this like 
every season, like a what I wear in a week. Autumn edition, winter, spring and summer. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you all next week. Bye.